Well, Our Man in the Dark is uh, set in 1964, and it's, it's about John Esten, a lonely accountant working for Martin Luther King. He embezzles $10,000 from the organization and attracts the attention of the FBI, who've been monitoring King and his associates for, for a few years up to that point. The thing about Estim is that he's a, uh, he feels isolated, he feels pretty much marginalized and ignored um, from the key, the key players in the movement. And uh, he can sense that things are, are changing, and, you know, but he doesn't, know, he doesn't know what role he'll play in this new world. And in an act of desperation, he uh, leads himself in, in a, down a very dark path. Actually, I came up with the idea um, reading a biography on Martin Luther King and uh, just stumbling across just somewhere in the footnotes uh, the fact that, you know, there, that there were informants within the SCLC working for the FBI. It was a challenge using Martin Luther King as a, as a fictional character. Um, I guess due to the fact that I was so protective of uh, of his legacy, and but uh, my main desire was to explore his his humanity. Um, I wanted to, to show my fictional king as grappling with a man becoming an icon and that transition. Um, but in the novel. We see King through Estim's perspective, and Estim is also grappling with the transition that Martin Luther King is making from man to icon. It allows you to explore some of the darker aspects of um, of uh, character psychology, and when you you know look at the desperation that. Uh, Estim exhibits. It is. Uh, it's quite obvious that it's that he's a noir figure. When you consider that, um, primarily at the heart of uh, the genre is the underdog, who is uh, grappling with an institutional force, only to confront uh, disillusionment and alienation. Um, but I think that also echoes the black experience at that time. So I think it was a fitting use of style and theme to employ the, uh, to employ the, you know, those more techniques. I want to engage as well as entertain. Uh, I want you to be able to to, to look at the world differently after reading my work than you did before you read it. <laughs>